So today I'm going to show you how to save 50% uh, uh, on shipping by FedEx, UPS, and USPS as well. You will not only save 50%, uh, but you will also we will also compare the the rates between these three carriers. So you will be able to to make a better decision. And if you want uh, something faster as well, we have those options. We so we have a, we will calculate everything for you as well. Because usually UPS is the most expensive, then it goes FedEx in the middle, and usually DHL is the cheapest. But it's not always the same case. Uh, for example, last year we needed to ship some parcel to from the United States to Nigeria. And UPS was the cheapest. It was around $60 and DHL and FedEx were around 130 and $150. So it's always a good idea to compare and we will do this for you. And the benefits of shipping using our service are that we will provide you the free pickup from any of these carriers. And of course, the drop off option, it is available. And we will also provide you the original FedEx, DHL, or UPS airway bill. We will send you this uh, by message or by email. You'll also get it, the tracking number. And of course, the, these carriers have like branches in more than 200 countries. And this is an example of a quotation I, I made a, of a parcel of shoes. The location, this was shipped from the United States to Germany and the carrier for this example was FedEx. The original price for this shipment, it was around $230, but of course with our service, it will be around $115, which is the 50% discount. It depends. And of course, uh, if you want something even cheaper, we can we can do it as well. Uh, but of course, it depends on many factors. Because if you want something fast, usually it's, it's more expensive. But if you want something like really, really cheap, then it's usually the... It takes a long, a long, a long time to arrive, but there are so many options, and we will, we will give you everything uh, on the quotation. So no worries about that. About the warranties, in case of loss of damage uh, or damage, uh, the carriers have uh, something called the declare value, so they can cover up to one hundred dollars. And if you would like to have extra coverage, please contact us. And in regard to the payment, we are using a PayPal, so you can have peace of mind that in case of any problem, you will you will have a PayPal, so it is quite secure and everything will go smoothly. Of course, we will help you out in everything that we can. So these are the, the steps that you need to follow in order to get a quotation. The first step is to fill the shipping quote form so in order to get this form, you just have to send us an email and we will uh, send you this uh, Excel document or, or the, the, the questions. So you just have to fill this, the shipper address, let's say it's from the States, City, Sheridan. This is just an example, of course, the zip code. And the same thing, let's say we're going to ship this to Germany and the city Ulm and the zip code so later on you have to feel when you, you plan to ship this let's say it's on december 1st 2020 2021 and choose whether if it's a parcel or an envelope just click here and choose let's say it's a parcel how many packages let's say it's just one and the weight of the parcel let's say it is a one kilogram And the length of the, of the parcel, let's say it is uh, 20. 
All right, so something happened with the recording, so I was uh, filling the form. So let's make sure to to include the weight of the parcel, and if it is in kilograms or if it's in pounds, just make sure to include it. If you want to do it uh, on in inches, you can do it as well. Just make sure to include it, and we will generate the quotation with this information. And once we send you the quotation, if you agree with the prices, we will compare all carriers. If you agree with that, then, uh, of course, we will uh, go to to the payment process and we will generate the airway bill for you. So uh, to generate the, the airway bill, we will send you a second form that uh, needs some extra information to make sure the package will arrive to its destination uh, without any problems. We will send you the, the airway bill by, by email or inbox, as I mentioned before. And this is an example of the airway bill for the ones that are newbies. And well, it, it, the, it's the same, it's almost the same in the, for the three carriers. It just changes a couple of things, but this is basically all the information that it has. And you need to paste this outside of the, the parcel or the envelope that you're shipping. And we suggest to print two of the, these airway bills, one for the outside and one from the, you can include it in the inside of the parcel or the envelope. So if something happens with this airway bill during transit, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So if it's not that clear, then the postman can open the box and they, they will find the second airway bill and they will deliver the package to its destination. So just paste it and that's it. Um, of course, you have to, uh, if you want, you can drop this, uh, drop it off in any location. If you selected DHL, FedEx, and UPS or UPS, you can do it. Or if you uh, selected the pickup option, a postman will go to your office or to your home to pick up the, the package. Uh, and of course, we need to coordinate when it's going to be uh, the schedule. And we will do this by uh, inbox, so no worries about that. So the shipping tips, um, just try to avoid the holiday shipping delays, you know, November and December are quite busy and just make sure to make your shipments uh, on time, you know. Um, for international shipments, we suggest to include an invoice in the box, in the parcel, or, or uh, you, if you don't do this, you will have some delays. So make sure to include an invoice. This invoice can be uh, from your vendor uh, or you can generate your own invoice. And if you don't have any idea how to do it, we will provide you a, a template so you can fill it. I will make a second video to uh, a tutorial to, to help you how to fill the, the second invoice, the invoice so you can include it in the package. Um, of course, if you have any other invoice, just make sure that the value, the declared value of the products or samples or whatever you're shipping, it's uh, at least $5. This will help you to uh, avoid delays. And as I mentioned before, just include two, two copies of the airway bill that I showed you uh, before. So if you have any questions, just let, you let us know. Here you have a, our email address and the phone number. And have a nice day. Thank you.